All right, so we're finding all the real and imaginary solutions to this equation. Give it a shot and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in this problem right here, I find it fastest just to start by identifying my A terms. Oops, A is 2. B is negative 3, this term right here. And C is 2. And then I use my quadratic formula. X equals negative B, so negative negative 3 is positive 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 3 squared, or 9, minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 2 times 2, which is 16, um, over 4. And then this is going to equal 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 over 4. So we can write two answers here. The first one I would write is 3 plus i times the square root of 7 over 4. The other one is 3 minus i times the square root of 7 over 4. And all I did right there is I rewrote the um, square root of negative 7 term as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 7, and the square root of negative 1 is i. And, I, and then I put i in the front here each time. So if I put it in the back, I might confuse it and think it's under the square root sign. And there I am. I'm done. All right. Hope this helps.